Okay, my friends, got a little yard machines, 156 cc to come see engine on it. Uh, I can get it to fire only when I squirt gas into the cylinder. We'll just try that. It, the customer did fill the gas tank. Let's just try that for now and we'll see if it takes off. It might. I don't think so. I tried it yesterday, just when he dropped it off. Oh, spark plug! You guys saw that, didn't you? I was just being cautious as I cleaned out the broccoli from underneath, right? Sometimes that's all they need. So it, it, just as it was sputtering, I put my finger over here like a choke, and it fired up. So will it do it again? That's the question. Lots of, there's so much bad gas out there right now. Okay. So. I'm going to get it running again and I'm going to uh, spray a couple of the seams to see if uh, it's got an intake leak. I don't think so. I know I was fiddling around with it anyway. It was running and I shouldn't be moving it around. I did. All right, my friends, there's no more fooling around on this job. I, uh, this is one of the ones of the three that uh, a friend of mine, Gary, owns. He provides them to his renters. And uh, this one didn't start this morning. And that's my first indication that something else is wrong. So I'm going to uh, take the carburetor off. You can see there's a little bit of gas sweating around the... Uh, oh, that's probably the problem right there, eh? Look at that. But anyway, we're going to give this the, the this carburetor the uh, once-over treatment. Uh, although that says it all right there, doesn't it? Mm. So we're taking this carburetor off of here. Hopefully the gaskets arrive. These ones usually do very well. Okay, now we just need a pair of pliers to get that gas line off. Good. Carbs off. Now I'm going to dump the gas out of this gas tank too. 
just because I can. So right in front of me, we'll do it down here, right in front of the, the owner of the mower, pulled, it, pulled the mower off the truck and he filled these gas tanks up, but he didn't know what was in there to start with. So I'm going to clean out each one of these. Uh, it looks like there was a little water in there. And we'll let that settle out. Now we're going to come over here and you're going to watch me over here. Most of the work is going to be on the carburetor, ultrasonic carburetor cleaner. Half inch wrench. So it needs a new primer bulb. Hope I have a few. Mm, it's pretty clean. So we get the other. Just looking for a socket. I'm going to take this intake manifold off of here. Oh, I need a. Can I use this? No, I can't. I need a 760. You know, I have that in my hand. So we're just taking the exhaust or the intake manifold off here. There we go. Actually, in pretty good shape. Now, this primer bulb needs to come off of here, so we might as well get it off right now. I'd like to save the little ring that holds the primer bulb in. I'm getting low on those. Might not happen though. There we are. I tell you, it's nice to have a wall full of tools. It really makes a difference. No, I'm not going to be able to save it, but we'll get it out of there. And then the rest of the plastic. Good. So that. Well, I don't know. Let's just keep taking stuff off until we're done. Okay, needle for the float. Float. And there's the needle and seat. So this is actually the uh, float pin, I guess I should say, right? And we'll take this off here. That looks good. Let's just soak, soak that in fuel. I'm a firm believer in soaking stuff like that in fuel while you're cleaning other stuff. Okay, so that... I don't think, you know what, I don't think we need to wash that, although if I can get this gasket off of here without wrecking anything, I'm sure going to wash it. Yep. Put the gas in. Put the gasket in the gas. This one I might not take off. Nope. I'm going to wreck it if I do. Although I've got lots of it. Okay. So I'm going to leave the Tecumseh 
needle that uh, to comes the emulsion tube in. But let's uh, just take the air cleaner out of here. Air cleaner. Ooh. I'm going to leave that on. Okay, and just a quick spray and then we'll get it into the tank. Right now I'm just heating up my soap solution on the barbecue. This is a really Actually, a very, very nice little carburetor. I think the only problem is that primer. Good. Okay, we're going to wash that. And we might as well wash that too. This. And then I got my little basket of goodies. Might as well clean up the nuts and bolts too. Yeah. Good. We'll get the basket. And lay that in there like that. Put the carburetor in like that. That's the best way to do that. And then this piece. And then I have to fix this. This is part of the of the uh, lid for the. Um, gas lid and if this has to roll on there and it pulled off the end. I think I might just heat up a little uh, soldering iron and make this tab a little fatter. Well I got ten of those in storage. Alright guys I'm going to let you go with that and we'll come back when I have uh, some carburetor. Well let's just take you outside and show you what I'm doing. Alright here we are. I've got my coffee can underneath here heating up. That's almost there already I can tell. Alright let's do this. Preheat it to over 70 degrees Celsius. Just pour it in the air. I reuse this and uh, each time I have to add a little bit of water, which I have in here. It's a fairly strong soapy solution. There we go. Plug it in, and we'll find out what we'll find out what temperature it's at. It says it's at uh, 64 degrees. See, oh, it's dropping a little bit, probably because the heat of the unit is pulling heat from the water. Eh? So let's get her heating. It's got a green light, so I think we're ready to dump that in there. It makes kind of an awful sound. I should have put the uh, I should have put the carburetor pieces in first. There, she's ready to go though. Oops. Ah. There. Okay, come back with me now. 
All right, so now you can see my mower sitting here without a carburetor, no gas tank. We're gonna have a look at the blade. Perfect. We'll lower it down just a little bit. I did clean out from underneath here, but it does need a blade sharpened. Now it looks like a 9 16 so Please ignore the uh, buzzing of the uh, water heater. Or the ultrasonic cleaner, I should say. And uh, there might be some more noise when I turn on the air compressor. Now we're going to take the blade off. That's better. Now it's just the uh, ultrasonic cleaner which is buzzing away. So now I'm going to put an edge on that blade. This blade's been around the block. We're just going to sharpen it. On the back. It's got some bangs on it. So I'm going to sharpen the back. Placing the same bevelness there. edge you can see on this side. Just blunt. But not even. And all that does is give it a little stronger edge if it hits a rock. I say that every time. I'm sure some of you are sick of hearing that. Okay. So here we are. Every blade has a different edge. Something I don't understand. That's <laughs> pretty good. A little bit heavy on this end. I'm just going to go take a tiny bit off. Are we recording? Yes. Yes. I'm going to lay this down. Tilt this up. And take that bun out of there. I loosened it with the big ratchet. Where is that? off some goo on that after. So there we go. I'll change the oil on this in just a shake. All right, I'm going to put the bung back in and fill it with oil. Now this one should only take 500 milliliters of oil. Most of the bigger Tecumseys take 600, but I don't even think I got 300 out of this one. So we'll put 500 in and we'll see where we're at. Now walk this way. Drop you. All right. So let's just tilt you up. There's the bung hole right there. Let's just get, see if we can get you in there. Right. Oh, it's still dripping a little bit, eh? 
Good. Right there. It's right there. Carburetor's almost done. It's got a minute left. Our timing's perfect. Hey! And it's right to the top. Do you see that? It's exactly what you want. Now that oil could have been a little warmer, but it, this is a this is a $40 lawnmower you got. <coughs> okay. I'm just going to clean the plug up. I use a wire brush. There, that plug looks great. There, same mower. So we're done this part. Let's get the uh, carburetor back together again. We'll just move him out of the way. And uh, we'll get the carburetor out of the... Uh, Two rags to do that. Those handles are hot, eh? I hope I got enough. Um, what am I trying to say? I hope I got enough farmer bulbs laying around here. That's all the oil I got out of it, eh? Not very much. I'm just going to clean up and then we'll start that carb. Here's the thing that I'm going to do. Remember this was pulling off of here? I'm just going to melt down that uh, plastic end a little bit to see if that helps. There. We'll let that cool off. Let that cool. All right, let's put this carburetor together. Hopefully we got a primer bulb in here. <coughs> Not very many though. Yeah, it's okay. But I'm out. What about this one? That one's okay, but it's a little hard. So I gotta get some more of those ordered. Now! I'll just put them on the computer so I can do that right away. Alright, let's get this baby to shoot some air through here. Uh, shoot, I'm just shooting a little bit of air. Uh, let's just get rid of this funnel. And the oil. We gotta do another one today yet. Yeah? Cleaner back there. Methyl hydrate. In there. Chuck that. Chuck that. Chuck that. I'm getting better at throwing stuff away, guys. Squirt a little bit of air backwards through the fuel valve. She's ready. On the bracket for the needle valve, you have it facing the intake. But that's what I do. Because if you get into good work habits, you just have good work habits. Going to measure that carburetor to make sure we have at least six to seven pounds back pressure on the needle valve. Okay, so there we are. We're hooked up like that, right? Drops to seven, 
and a 6.9, 6.876. And I'll shake this, wash this, and you lose pressure. It's good. I never, I haven't seen one go above seven, unless it's a different make, like possibly a Honda or something like that, right? Nice valve, a nice valve, a nice O-ring for the bowl. Car bowl lined up per hinge. Uh, you know, this is so old, some of this stuff, I mean, you guys might not talk about it anymore, right? That goes on there like that. When I see one of these old ones, I wonder if it was serviced by me, eh? <laughs> Alright, now we're going to put that primer bulb on. Well, my verbalization's not good today. Let's just... This is a carpenter's vice, but actually, in reality, it is a carburetor rebuilder's device, 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 vice. There we go. Good. Now I take a small screwdriver like this and I tap each little tab down. Good. There's no guarantee on that, eh? So on the Tecumseh carburetors, this is the notch. Whoops. Yeah. On the Tecumseh carburetors, this is this notch here goes to the outside, and this is this inlet for the fuel is on the uh, car, uh, engine side. This is going to run like a champ. Okay, so the next thing is uh, just need a tiny bit of transmission fluid. Any good car hydrocarbon will work, and I put a little foam on that, put a little oil on the foam right there on the shaft. Good. And our suction goes on like that. We're there. I'm going to put this on the lawnmower and I'll uh, come back when we're done. Just in case some of you were wondering, I did have this on upside down where these posts were down here. I just turned it over. There's our linkage. The spring off the tang, we'll call that, from the back bolt goes to the lower hole. And the throttle arm that goes right to the throttle is the upper hole. I'm just going to put the two bolts in with the uh, gasket on now. Come on, baby. Well, it was empty, right? Good enough. Okay. Hi guys, I'm down here. So 3240 is a great RPM, a tad high, but that's all right. So I think she's done. I just want to see if it starts in the morning now. That's all. Thank you.